Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov, episode two, take two. <laughs> Turn this thing on. I've already recorded this once. I've tried to tweak a few settings to make the video crisper. Wanted to get up to a full 60 frames per second. And it's kind of like adding an update to a game and all kinds of unforeseen consequences hit and things go wrong and break that had nothing to do with the update you know i ended up well it was, it was a it was a problem with 60 frames per second versus 59.94 frames per second which is a kind of an older industry standard i set everything to the 59.94 and yet i still ended up with seven seconds worth of lag at the end of rendering the video meaning my voice was seven seconds off from my lips and it was it was unwatchable so nothing i could do to salvage i spent a whole day trying to salvage that episode didn't happen so i'm going to go through an episode of deja vu and we'll just see how this goes anyway i've only lost about a week of december through all this I, there were enough um, auto saves for me to go back to almost where i was when that started uh, carpentry finished. Good. So what I was going to say is I managed to get this field figured out in the trees there and get another field set over here. These took quite a while because you just can't get in there and see. You can't zoom into ground level. So you got to get just the right spot to be able to see things. And that was difficult to get this big of an opening in that spot just in the right place and make it work. But it's in and we need them to be working on at least this field before we get into uh, March and get into planting. Turn my volume down a little bit. So carpentry just finished. That is right here. We need to hire a dude. And what are our options here? Only guys can work in here. Laborers can be anyone. And we can move things in and out of here by cart, wagon, labor, whatever you wish. And in and out of here means, where is it, this one? It means 3,000 wood and 30 metal parts. So he will take wood and metal parts and create carts or plows with oxen or grab the carts and repair them, which ours are in need. We're down to almost to the end of the lifespan of these guys so we want to set perform preventative repairs for whoever it is that gets this job and right now we're probably all fully employed so you're taking a rest you're fired you can go work over there now how are we doing over here we need more blacksmiths too we really do we're going to have a nail crunch coming up it always happens when you start to build the trader which i'm going to put down in here we've got the land trader we've got the river trader or ocean trader this is actually an island don't realize that when you're moving around on the map but this is ostrov i'm told is the ukrainian word for island so this is the adventure of what happens on this island and we've got a land trader that can handle these three cities here we've got a a well what's it called uh what is the official name of that uh trading dock okay that will handle this town and that town with boats so we're going to build both um as i mentioned earlier this is the entrance to the game for land travel to the to the map and the entrance the direction that they travel is over from here as far as river it's kind of like banished you've got to figure out which direction your traders are going to be coming from before you start building things across rivers that that block and clip things um so you did not get hired yet i'm running at a slow speed so he's taking his break and He's off stocking his house and doing other things, so that's that's fine. I do want to move the thatchery. I've changed my mind here. I do want to get housing more into this area, and that doesn't quite work. The problem with moving any a building that does things like this is trying to get rid of the old stock. You can't 
Well, you can tear the building down, but you have to destroy the resources to do it. We're going to want to save these resources, so let's fire you and fire you. Sorry, ladies. And let's set make empty. Set you to empty. And, and in Ostrov, you have to take a look at that little notice. For the longest time, I didn't notice that. I'd click it and move on and not realize that it just asked me, you really want to make it empty? Apparently there was a problem with accidentally emptying out buildings at the beginning, so he added an extra little uh, click there to say, are you sure? Yeah, let's really make it empty. Problem though is we need to put this somewhere. So I'm, okay, a laborer just popped in to help make it empty. And where are you going to put that? I don't know. The thatch will go into a warehouse, which we haven't built yet. And this can be moved into... Ah, I see you guys are moving uh, moving planks into this guy. Yeah, 1,600 have been moved there. I don't know what these two are up to, though. Interesting. Because they don't have a place to move these two. Oh, we do still. We have a camp storage. That's right. I'm used to things coming out of the camp storage. I'm not used to things going back in. Okay. So, apparently camp storage is... You can't set what you want to put in there. So, it's there's just a bunch of things set in the background that I can't see. Okay. So, there's five nails left. Um, so, we want to move this one out. Best way to move the product is to build another one and they'll swap it around. So, let's put another thatchery in. And we've got kind of here or here, I'm thinking. Because, yeah, this, I don't want to go further down the hill with it. I want to keep it up in this area. And this is kind of an industry area, but I think this is where it's going. So let's grab thatch here on the second page. Rotate you around. Hmm... We have a pathway going through there. We have a pathway. We need a pathway through there. And things do not have to be straight and square. I kind of like that with this game. So let's let's see. I want to go this way. What would look best? It's it's hard to make that decision because you're not just making it for now. You're making it for the rest of the game. So is there any reason to have things swung around or? Does it, in fact, look best just to go straight in? I think aesthetically that does look better. A tree can stay. We can run a cart through that gap easily if we need to. So let's just tuck you right in like so. Let's get you built. Let's move you to next. Well, we'll go ahead and finish the granary. Yeah, we'll get the granary finished. And then we'll work on the thatchery next. As well, we need... A place to replace this guy I want all these gone eventually so let's let's see I can go ahead and kick the speed up yeah we've got enough backlog up here to keep them going um, need a warehouse warehouse is this guy right here simple little building holds quite a bit of stuff and where to put them what goes into these guys are lumber, firewood, bark, um, thatch, nails, metal, those sort of things. But it says certain things do not. Note that resources like stone, clay, sand, water require special storage. So we've got storage for other things like the stone storage which will take, where is it? Stone, limestone, and iron ore, for example. So there's other forms of storage. I don't know where water is stored anywhere other than the places that it's used. This will store water. The cow shed will store water. The Anything that deals with animals will store water. Uh, what was that? Small granary's filled. Okay, I'm going to slow you down. Small granary, we'll get back to the warehouse in a moment. You can copy resource lists from another granary. You can store your own production, meaning what we grow in the, in the field, uh, the flour that we mill 
from our wheat, that sort of thing. You can also store um, items that your citizens grow and buy it from them automatically, which is what I want to use these small warehouses for. So let's hit that one. And suddenly we've got, what is that, eight different items that we can buy from the citizens, meaning they all arrived with pantries full of their own stuff. And as we, I think we saw in this house, this house last time, but as we get in further into the year and these folks start to plant their own gardens around their own places, including the honey coming out of the beehives over here. And do we have any? Usually raspberries go in quick and they stay year round, but I don't see any. But we'll be able to buy from our citizens their extra foods, put them into our granary, and then sell these foods over here in our market stalls back to them again. So those that have too many carrots can sell to us and we can sell them back to this family who doesn't have any carrots, for example. So let's, let me show you something that tripped me up for quite some time. I would get to this step and feel like I'm done. I go ahead and add a worker. We've got a lady who will, who will work in here, but let's go ahead and designate that and that anybody can move things around in here. And I've only recently discovered what it means by Carter and by Wagon. We'll get into that soon. And it may be that I'll be going back and deselecting some of those but it, as we fine-tune the, the map. But what I didn't realize before for this and for the warehouse that we put in, there is an extra step. Do you really want to buy from local producers? Yes. So I didn't realize that at first and nothing was happening. I was getting quite frustrated. So I didn't realize there was more to do. We are now, once we get this person hired, which we should have extras sitting around, right? Let's find out. Population. <clears throat> um, unemployed women. One third of our women are unemployed right now. They need jobs. So... Just a matter of them going through the current cycle that they're in. Whether they are currently a laborer over in the charcoal pile or the, you know, maybe they're all employed right here at the moment. These are all just seasonal jobs as laborers. So when they fall off of those jobs, then they'll look for more permanent jobs. When that happens, we should see this whole thing go active. And all of a sudden, if I can be kick the speed up maybe it'll happen while I'm talking um, all of a sudden we'll start stocking this and I'll be able to then have Snizhano these names are hard um, hard for me go in and uh, start there we go so we've got Marfa who has taken this job and opened the doors for all of our citizens to start bringing their extra goods in and selling them to us so we've got Five, a total of 542 peas that are on their way in. 346 have arrived. And I'll be able to sell those over here now. And buckwheat had already loaded in accidentally last time, even though I turned it off. So we'll just go ahead and let it stay. And that means we need to probably hire another booth's worth and stock this one with even more stuff. So lots of choices are going to start rolling in here. At all? More? Nope, that's it at the moment. Okay, I see pumpkins, but they haven't arrived yet. No pumpkins there. No pumpkins there. Maybe I have to wait for them to physically get here, which is probably right there. Nope, that was, that was more honey. And that was the cabbage coming in. There's... No, we're over here. Pumpkins are moving. There they are. 83 pumpkins just arrived. Now can I stock them? I can. And cabbage... And Yaroslav is working here. And can I... Do I have anything more? We still have even more. There's marrow coming in. So let's hire another lady for here. Now these are all going to be women. So let's apply to all of them. And you resources can come in in any way and apply all those to those as well okay so i do want to get the other one going soon because we've already maxed this out and i'm sure there's more to purchase so i'll turn you on get you working over here 
this is I'm gonna slow it back down it's they're building it faster than I can go through and do my spiel <laughs> speaking of last episode just exploded I was I was shocked as, as I'm recording this there's going on well there's over nine over 9,000 views my videos usually get a hundred views so welcome to all of the new subscribers to the channel but yeah, that was that was something else. I just sat back and watched it and kept refreshing, and another few hundred were popping in every time I refresh. It just exploded. Thatchery, we're going to actually we're going to unemploy you. Nobody employed here yet. I made that mistake last time I tried to do this this thing. I've I've done all this once before. Got to the end of an hour video, rendered it, and it just was unwatchable. Oh, that was frustrating. We spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to get these into here. And really, it was just a matter of waiting for the queue to hit. They will, as long as we're saying empty it, which we are, they will eventually move into these spots here. Though, I never determined whether or not it was only after I hired a worker. Because once I hired her, she ran down and started grabbing new reeds and started filling it up when it was these reeds that I wanted to get moved over. So, but nothing happened until I hired her. So I think we're just going to have to do both. She's going to make her runs laborers if I have any left. Ah, uh, that could be it too. I did that last time after we had planted everything. So laborers may be in short supply. Let's make sure instead to get this house going then. We'll do that. We need more workers. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to change things up from how I did it last time. I waited till this was gone and then added some more houses in here. The original plan that I had when I started this map was to put another row of houses back behind this row. And then the road would be in front of these houses. Only I thought I was going to get three sets and two roads all between these sets of trees. And that I could have if I had much smaller yards. I guess this guy, well, I started here. I could have started him a lot smaller and really squeezed things in. But we've got a huge map out here. There's no need to squeeze everything in really tight. Let's let these folks grow their peas and carrots. So, but... I didn't want to get into the trees because it was going to take too long to get these first nine built. So I gave up the idea and just stuck a road in here. But I'm kicking around the idea now of still pushing that road out, which is why I want to get rid of this and move things around a little bit into the trees. So we could have played with the idea of putting in just housing. Now the advantage to housing rather than yards houses with yards is that you can fit a lot more houses in but there is such an advantage to giving them all their own food variety it really is i could fit one two three houses in this space right here before we hit that well but ended up coming up with this plan of putting in a house with a tiny little yard to give them at least a garden rotate you around so you enter from this side and hit the F1 and then move you up a little bit, probably to the halfway point like that. Bring you all the way up into here. So let's square you to the back fence, which is about like that. And I guess for now we'll just kind of sit you like that. Then this guy, I need to square you as good as possible off of that fence. Probably about there. That looks pretty good. You can move in a little further now. Right there. Which means this can come in a little bit further. Now this, if we take it just to the side of the house, this diagonal still gives us a great entrance. If I didn't do that, then... I've got to make sure that, hmm, I originally did this with the, the entrance right here, and I had to keep stretching it further and further so the entrance would miss the house. So turning it this way solved that. But you, now see how it snaps? I want it in between and I can't. 
I fought that last time till I realized if you hold the alt, you can put it anywhere you want. And I want it right there. Now we've got a house, a little bit of a garden, and a way to get in. And I don't have to wait for this to leave before I can do it because the fences intersected last time. So you are in. Let's do that again right over here. Anything we're truly waiting for while I'm talking. Still nobody. Oh, that's right. We don't want anybody working there. They are going away. Okay. So actually they're going away and they're coming in. That's interesting because I stuck a worker in there. Okay. No worker there. Did I confuse the two? I think I did. Yeah. I put a worker in there. Let's put the worker back in there. <clears throat> no worker in there because she was going to work making more thatch. That's fine. I turn the green into brown. That's great. But don't go and get more, please. Um, in fact, did you? Are you down here? They've been. She's been taking this trail over here to go to work. So through the forest. Oh, you can get nauseous doing that. <laughs> um. Anyway, you guys are gonna put things away, and hopefully you're going to haul the green, but you won't haul the green until the brown is gone. They work from left to right is what I found out. I monkeyed with this, monkeyed with this, and at one point the game inversed the, or reversed these guys so that the green was here and the brown was there. Then they started moving the green and ignoring the brown, the reeds instead of the thatch. So they work from this direction to that direction, and they just when this is finally emptied, meaning sent over to here, then they'll start moving this, hopefully, to here. And stocking this one, the 2,000 that we're asking for, into this one. So we'll see if that all works. But we want to get more employees, more citizens to do all of these jobs because there's lots going on, lots about to happen. Um, another house. <clears throat> and reverse you, like so. F1, Did that work? It didn't. Oh, I hit the one. There we go. All right, so that width worked last time. I don't know if it's going to work this time. So let's rotate you like so. Get right over the top. Try to see those yellows on top of yellows and move things around. That's pretty good right there. Our fence is off on this side. You can see the angles off, but it looks pretty good to the other two sides. So where's my spot? Right there. Now, one problem that I had was the fence isn't perfectly straight over here. And this was snapping. Let's see, where is he? Oh, he's over here. This was snapping to this one, which was then intersecting this fence over here. That's when I discovered that you hold the alt and you can get it off of that one fence and make it functional again. I'm gonna take you into here like so, and click you. You can go all the way back into here. And this is going to stay yellow this time because there's a tree to take down. So as long as there's a green need to remove one tree, we're fine. If it goes red, then we got a problem. But this can sit right there. One tree to take down. House works. Yard works. Good access. Now we've got a road that can just kind of sweep through, clip the well, and work its way through the rest of the neighborhood and continue on to what I think is going to be kind of an industrial area. Either, well, I think the brickworks work good back in here, and you get labor that's easy to get to it. That's just it. The idea of putting all of your housing in one area and all of your industry in another area, what it does is gives you a lot of walk time. So you spend a good part of your year not getting much done because you're spending a lot of that time just walking. So if you can get a neighborhood and industrial near it and then another neighborhood and industrial near it and another neighborhood and industrial near it, then you can have a much more efficient map and things are going to get done a lot quicker. Unless I spend all my time talking and leave it on slow speed. <laughs> but now we've got the potential for more houses to come in. Um, did I not set that? I didn't set that. Enter. There we go. So they can... Why are there not three houses up on here? Okay. So you... This house we've been waiting for. And looks like the materials are probably all here now. 
Um, right there. Nope. No, we still have these to bring over. How many builders do we have at the moment? We've got four. Do we have any unemployed men? Unemployed none. We have one unemployed lady. I'm guessing. 11%. And we just got a field done. I'm going to slow that back down too. I want to make sure to get this in. Actually, it's only January. No, speed it back up. I need to have this set before March hits. But apparently the loggers just came and took their last tree out of here. Now they're going to start working on these trees, unless I move this forward. But let's let's go for this one. Let's let them clear this field over here. There goes the first one. Yep, there they go. Those logs have got to be pretty heavy. These are these are not dried timbers yet. Those are fresh cut logs. Those are heavy. That's back when men were real men. Um, plant you. And with what? Let's see what we've got in regards to... This was last year. We've already cycled over because we've, we've finished the last uh, growing season. So this is what we had set last time as the second choice or second option. So it's already rotated one over. So this year we've got potatoes and sunflower growing and a fallow field. So having wheat going would be good. I want to get the windmill going this year. So let's do that. And we found that wheat and potatoes are a good combination. So potatoes work with several things, but wheat and potatoes especially. So let's go ahead and do that. And we need a fallow in this area here. So let's wheat, potatoes, and fallow. I guess there's a fallow here, a fallow here, and a fallow there. When we later have cattle, we're going to need a fallow field available. Or we could des designate a, a field just for the cattle to get them outside and get them grazing. But if you put cattle within your fallow field, they will add fertilizer to it and boost the, uh, boost the nutrients to the soil. So that's something that's worth doing. Um, that's what we want. Activate you, and you're ready to go. Okay many irons in the fire one of them i was talking about the warehouse and what turned out to be a really good spot for the warehouse was right over here let them walk up the pathway and drop goods into here a lot of what goes into the warehouse will come out of this guy anyway otherwise it will be items for the blacksmith and that's not too far away so let's go for here and I could move into here and not have any trees to take down, but that really makes it tight right there. So let's just move in. We'll make it we'll limit it to two trees to take down. So you're going to go right there. And how are we doing? I, it reversed. Okay. We must... No, well, I can't explain why that reversed, but it reversed. So now we are working on hauling out the green. And we are taking it to here. Perfect. We've got one worker over here who is processing the green rather than going to get more. Okay, that works perfectly. So you ladies, please continue hauling that out. When it gets emptied, I think I'll get a pop-up over the top of the building. And sometimes pop-ups come up over here and I don't even see them. So if you see a message over there trying to get my attention and I'm ignoring it, that's because I'm only looking right here. That's, that's how I play. It's after I get done and go back to edit the episode that I... Oh, boy. That probably drove everybody nuts, that message over there. But we've got the warehouse in now. I'm trying to decide when it should be put in. It turns out it's not as critical as I would have thought or thought last time. Trying to get these out of here, there is a place for these to go. So it is no longer as critical. So I'll leave that at the end. Getting more people living here is more critical let's put you to the front even though they'll ignore you and move on to these while there's still trees to cut down but so that when it finally does get done maybe if there's time between now and the end of may i can pause it and get a bunch of ladies to put a bunch of i don't know sunflowers or something into it and just get at least a little bit of crop this year out of that field so they've got to the builders have got to come in and build the fence even though the trees are gone and I wouldn't want to wait for several more buildings to get done before they went out and just went tap, 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 and that fence was finished. Houses are going in. You... Yeah, we'll leave you there. We get This house is almost done. They'll pop this one in real quick. 
and did we ever get more blacksmiths? We managed to get one more there. We didn't get a cart builder. Okay. Um, let's let this house build. This family will move in. We'll see where the man goes to grab a job. We don't want any more builders, and we've we've not got any openings there. The only wild card is this one opening over here. So it's a 50-50 chance. If I have to, I'll fire somebody to do it, but we'll see what happens organically. So we've got now a much better pathway into here. I like it better. This is going to be gone. Let's make a more of a grand entrance into this area. There is one decoration that I really like with this game. Now we've got this, these arches right here. We've got village house. We've got bigger arches and one really fancy one, but it's too big for this area. There is an access point in the front and back and it intersects with the fences. But there is another one available. Not as fancy, but it fits. And that is right here. Um, what do I need to do? A little bit of T right there and click. That auto builds. It, it auto uh, gets covered with snow too. Cool. What is with that? Is it simulating the shadow hitting part of it? Oh, I see. It's gradually melting away. <laughs> okay, so spring is coming. And that hits February 1st. What laborers we have left will come and plant. That's a problem, huh? Okay, so let's limit the laborers we already have. I don't know if I can turn laborers... Now, I can't interact with this. This is automatic. So, there are no laborers there. Um, you, no more laborers are there. This, I'm kind of surprised that nobody has jumped in to, to fill this, this charcoal. Well, we have done the charcoal once. Or almost out. This one's going to have to happen soon. We need charcoal. Is charcoal stored anywhere? Uh, there. Your iron. It is not. So we're going to have a bit of a charcoal crisis. Okay. What we can do, though, I don't want to do it now. I'm thankful that we've got three ladies that are willing to... Why three? Is it because there's a need for three? Or is it because there's only so many laborers per worker? If I had five workers, could there be 15 laborers? That I don't know. I don't know how that's balanced in the background. But we have tiny little fields, so it's not that big of a problem, and one of them is fallow. So if I'm correct, sowing. Sowing, we're halfway done with that one. That one's fallow, and that one is done. Why is this halfway? We still have one laborer. She is working on a field, so for some reason, she went down to the river. Hmm. Hmm. Or she was working in the Thatchery and just changed jobs. Don't know if they do that. Remember in Banished, they would always change jobs depending on where they were living. They would grab the closest job and that was a way that the game made itself more efficient by automatically grabbing jobs near where they worked. I don't know if Ostrov does that. Um, but that's once that's done and we no longer need those, then I need this to get going. And you can influence this a little bit by giving them a little bit of a bonus let's say is that here it isn't it is here so let's kick the wages for this one up a notch it's a little bit it's going to pay a little bit better than all the other jobs um treasury yeah so laborers wages are the same as monthly wages or, or you know full-time workers Except the job is short term, it just it's there, then it's gone. But they get paid the same. Except at this one, they're gonna get paid ten percent more. Hundred and ten percent of that. So another so what I say two fifty, so two seventy five they're gonna get if they want to do that job. So we'll wait and see if that happens or not. I do need more charcoal because we're gonna need more nails. We really are going to need more nails. Okay, let's take it up one more notch. Don't want to do that very often. It, you can kind of throw the game out of balance if you start doing that all over the place. But there is some incentive to getting the charcoal going. Though as more houses populate, you 
are, let's see if I click on you, you are supplying resources, so you're not employed at the moment. Okay, eventually you'll grab a laborer's job, but you are doing what right now? Supplying resources, you're going to get firewood. Yeah, right there, and you're carrying firewood home, and you're going to grab some... What? You went to work. Oh, okay, never mind. You want, you're supplying resources for the charcoal pile, not for your home. Okay, cool. So you, your family, moved in a bunch of beehives when you came in, and you came with this many supplies. You're already grabbing water out of the well and getting your house all set up. Yep, love the way this game works. All right now, so we're building this so that we can get the rest of the supplies that didn't fit into here so we can get them into the market. And anything else add? Nothing added there. Okay, so we've got only five of these eight choices were actually available to bring over at the moment. That's what happened there. What was that granary? Okay, are they identical? Houses have multiple models. Looks like the granaries are all of the same model. Okay, so you, let's auto stock. We had th two more things that didn't fit. Let's buy them, but we need a worker. Mm, I need a worker for that job too, which cuts our labor force, our, our seasonal labor force down again. But we've got these houses that are going in, so that's going to help. So the beginning of any of these kind of games are a balancing act, moving people in and out of different jobs. Did you get hired? You did not. So who's taking a break and gets fired? Uh, there's no charcoal anyway, so let's just... At least you, gone, you'll move into this one. Then you will start working on our carts. But eventually we're going to have firewood, we're going to have charcoal... I hate to fire everybody until that happens. Does make sense though. I just have to remember to get them. Let's do that. Remember to get them hired again. So, okay. Put a pin in that. Remember, get the blacksmith up and running again. But yeah, there is no charcoal. So they're just standing there. They're not doing anything. You will eventually be employed, and you will then start repairing these guys. I do want to move carts out of the center area. We do that with the cart parking building. And the thatchery doesn't use carts. found that out. Oh, you're ready to tear down. Let's do that. Tear you down. Move you to the front. We will use your resources elsewhere. The thatchery, well, unlike um, the, the farm, you can choose to move things by cart, laborer, wagon, what have you. The thatchery doesn't have that option. It's gone. So we have the workers hand carrying things, and that is it. The thatchery has been deconstructed. What? Completed demolition. Oh, that's a house that's being built. I say, it's not. They're still working on it. No, that's something else. They are building faster than I can talk. Man. <laughs> the forestry doesn't have that either. It gives you a sense of its overall storage, but it doesn't let you choose how you want to move things around. So carts are not available for everyone. Only certain ones. So you don't want to just stick a cart parking anywhere. There's an advantage. All of these, well, these two buildings will use it, and what we put over here will use it too. So I'm thinking that the cart parking should be over in this area instead. Let's spin you around. Your entrance is on this side. And I think right in front looks pretty good. Exactly where? We may end up roading through this. So let's kick off to the side a little bit. And... That looks pretty good. I'm wondering... We've got the access in front. And they, they don't actually stand out there. So it's not like there will be a lot of activity in that, in that space. So I can picture probably a road at some point running across the front of all this. So you've got the future aesthetics to think about. Or at least I think about it. Right there. So there's going to be no grass in front of this guy. 
is that still where I want to put them? It's kind of nice having the grass in different places, not worn away. So where their foot traffic is going to be, it's going to be worn away. So kind of be aware of that if you wanted to you want to have a certain look in your on your map later, you know, 10 years from now, will you wish you hadn't put that building there? Construction completed on a house, great. And if I catch it this time, I can put a hold on this if I don't want anybody to move in. But if I catch it this time, um, and the message, we'll be able to go over and watch the family moving in and see how that happens. I don't think we saw that last episode. Um, so cart parking, we're going to get that built. Let's move. Did I do two? Oh, that's... I must have clicked accidentally. I didn't realize I did that. Okay, so this is the cart parking. We'll move you up, though I... Mm, yeah, we'll move you up. Right now, they should be working on it anyway, because there's a tree in all these different buildings. In fact, let's slow things back down again then. Because they can't be constructing any of these anyway, so I may as well add some other buildings. So... There was another building I wanted to get laid out before we lose um, its position. You are... Can't find nails anywhere. Oops. Okay. We are making charcoal again. All right. So let's get at least one worker ready to go. Though this is going to take a while, but it's going to catch me off guard and I'm going to forget about it. In fact, for that matter, we can't build anyway. Let's just do it. Fire... Taking a rest, taking a rest. You guys, three of you? No, we have a new worker from here. So that should be the right number now. But we're out of nails and we're out, we were out of charcoal. That's what caused that. New family is settling in. That's what I wanted to see. I clicked it and it didn't go to it. Can I go here? There we go. So follow that line. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you can't hit shift and move faster through the map. But this is how they they enter. They come rolling in. We've got husband, wife, and a child. Though they're not showing, they're not representing the child in there. So theoretically, there's a whole bunch of supplies in the back of the wagon. Because they're going to come with all of these supplies with them. So that is a family moving in. Um, charcoal, I guess I go ahead and speed us back up again because we can't do anything till the charcoal is done. We want to make sure to get the salt works set before I accidentally build in this green right here. I don't think I want it down in here and there are a lot of places this simply can't build anyway because of the slope. You know, it just buries the back of the building and the roof right into the slope but there are certain places that it does work let's see rotate you like so um there we go so it has to go over a certain spot meaning they dig down in to get it i have never built the salt works before i see we have a ramp going in to this you know, gazebo looking building apparently this is like a dryer that makes sense it's all open up to the air I love these models there's probably storage back in there and not sure what happens in the very center we apparently heat something with this big chimney and, and uh, furnace over here so I want to make sure the heat doesn't get forgotten and something else doesn't get built here um, does it look better from this direction with the big foundation showing here and probably does we're not going to see the back of the building anyway so yeah from this direction okay so where to don't think i really need to leave a pathway i've got one here and we can go around here and there is one there too so this can be right up against it. Exactly where and how. There's red underneath it over here, so I want to go deeper in. Let's control 
Let's make you kind of parallel to this building. Facing the front? Yeah, because if I spin it around on the slope, we're going to bury one half of the building if I have it facing out here. So it's going to have to face this way. Let's go for there. Six trees to remove. We're not going to build it right now. I think that is good. Further in? Now we'll go there. Okay. Cart parking is finished. So you will pause. I just wanted to make sure that that spot was there. All right. Cart parking. Do we have... We have workers? We have charcoal. We're up and running again. Okay. These guys are going to make nails. They're going to make metal parts. They're going to make... Horseshoes. That was the other one. And they're going to need iron and coal to do the work. Okay. You are already, without me... Well, I did ask by checking that. But you are out here grabbing carts and repairing them. Good job. These ladies are resupplying the lumber that he's just used. And these carts over here, what he's working on. He's working on both of these. I don't know if I can work... If I can move these while they're being worked on. But you can click and grab drag this over and say send that cart to there just like that this guy it will let me okay so when you're done deposit it over there once these guys are all gone and you're using a cart you are bringing this one back let's see what happens someone else so you're going to grab this one to repair it or you're going to take a break you might take a break in between each cart we'll see you're thinking about your life right now, and yeah, you're going to go take a break. You're bringing a cart back, and then... No, you're using it. To do what? To grab those five nails that were over there and bring them to the next building site. <laughs> they haven't made that many nails yet. They made 20. Okay. Anyway, they're going to... There you go. Move the cart over, drop it off. Move the cart over, drop it off, then we can delete this building. No, you made a liar of me again. You're going to use the cart. All right. Eventually, they'll get to all that. So, we did get... We're still cutting one more tree down in there, and we're still in May. We might get that done. We did get potatoes planted, wheat planted, and sunflowers planted. And at one time long ago, I think these were white triangles. I saw that in a video. So, that was a little bug that came into the game that was quickly fixed but I think no they don't they are some games the sunflowers will like like they do in real life they will rotate with the Sun but I don't know if I've never really stopped to pay attention to see if we get the sense of Sun rotation through the season we could definitely get seasons you know we get winter at least winter and non winter I don't I mean, we do get fall I remember the leaves falling all over so we do get all the seasons. I don't know if the sun changes its position to rotate the heads of the sunflowers to match it. So where are we at right now? We are 40, almost 50 minutes into this. And hey, it's recording properly. Cool. Um, Got some houses in. We've got all this going. I feel like I'm missing something. Windmill. That was the other thing I wanted to get done this time. Well, let's get a windmill in. And I think... I think you need to be over in this area. Wheat will come in, it'll go become flour, drop into the granary, then get into the markets and sold. The only exception is that it'll also get brought down to trading and get sold off. So that'll be the one time it's going to walk a long way. And I see I've got another exclamation mark yelling at me over there. Um, let's go in this area with this. There's no rotating it around, it will rotate on its own. So let's get you going, and we'll put you in front like that. Um, boy, only a little bit of May left. Can you guys take this one tree down? Where are we at? One tree left. It is... You? Maybe you. Or it's just this piece laying over here. Where are you guys at? You're all taking a rest... Waiting for partner. He needs to go pick up that log, and this guy's taking his time getting back to work. There we go. And they take off as a group. 
They head over here. One day left in May. Come on, guys. Go get that log. Boom. Pause. Fill's completed. It's May. I don't know if that means we're going to get any sewing done in here or not. But let's try. You are going to be Sunflower. And let's go over here and look at our fallows. So, Sunflower, how many fallows? We already have two in this year, so we don't need any more. We have one in this year. Let's put the fallow in this year. So, Sunflower goes with what? Back over here. You, actually, next one, right there. Sunflower uses up all of the red and leaves 40 and 70 of green and blue. So, we need something that just does green and blue, and that is buckwheat. So Sunflower and buckfleet, Buckwheat are a good team. Until we get cattle and we get oxen and plows. Then turning over the soil, I believe, I'll find out when we do it to verify that, but I believe it adds a little bit of nutrients back in in between, which will allow us to get that, maybe that 10% more red that the sunflower didn't leave behind to be able to put hemp in instead. But right now, as sunflower and buckwheat are the only two that work together. So you're gonna do that, we're gonna activate. Let's see if we can't get some ladies in here and set some sunflower in real quick before June hits. It's probably not gonna happen, but it's worth a try. Um, build Town Hall, May. I don't get the sense of the 28th or 29th of May. So we have somebody running in here. Oh, oh, oh. They're, they're planting as fast as they can walk. <laughs> no, no, don't go away. No, no, just just keep going. Oh, here comes the third one. We're still in... Oh, we're in June. Field. I'm not getting any... What happened? It rotated. Did I do that wrong? What happened there? I thought I was sunflower. Interesting. Oh, it rotated. This is next year. But I'm not getting the charts that I get here. They did plant some. But I guess the game said, no, 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 no. No, we're, we're not doing that. You didn't get that done. <laughs> you're not sneaking that one in on me. Anyway, you have no more parking so we can make you go away. And you're gone. Okay. So this guy's going in. And I wanted to get traders in. Let's at least set these buildings. We'll build them all next time. We don't have any nails anyway. So that will work. So I'm, I can... Well, we'll let you run. So we can at least see the uh, see this guy build. Like, how are you doing? One mill. We're still bringing over supplies. Otherwise, they're going to start building. We don't have enough nails. Okay. Anyway, trading. I want to get the trading dock in, which there are a few spots that it can't hit, but it, it for the most part, would build most anywhere. There are other buildings that need to build here. Um, let me see if I can locate them. Of course, a bridge will go across the water. That's the wrong one, right there. Um, over in here, we've got a fulling mill, which makes broadcloth from wool. Okay, so a fulling mill is like a couple of boats. I've never built one of these. So two anchors and a, and a, a ramp is this guy. So he should go just, well, not quite anywhere. There are still some areas that are a little bit too steep along the edge, but this will go most places. Whereas the fishing dock is really persnickety doesn't like that area at all. There is a tiny little spot here and there to put one in. And there's a little bit of room over in here that it likes. So I'm going to set the first spot. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to go over here. That spot there. That's going to be fishing. Fishing, you don't want to get too many. Am I running? I'm not. Don't want to get too many fisheries in the same area. They will fish out the the lake. I thought I don't remember seeing fish in here before. That's a reflection of a bird up here somewhere. 
Uh, anyway, you can overfish an area. So if I put one here and another one over here, that should spread them out adequately. Which means <clears throat> it leaves this space in between for other things like. So what else goes on the water? Ah, the smelter. That's the one. And the smelter, another building I've never built before, throws this barricade out of stone. So you want to be careful where you place this guy. You can block off your river and your your trade access, your trade boats. So if you've got to put it in a small river, then be sure to put it downriver from the where the boats come in. In this map, the boats come in from here. So, or you get into a nice wide area like this. So this one uh, need narrower river segment. Oh, really? Okay, I take it back. It wants to truly block off the river. Okay. So he goes down here. Okay. So that's not something we're going to build right now. But I wanted to see those and see what the limitations are. There's one other building. The boatyard. That makes the boats for the fishing. So windmill's not in yet. So he needs to go into this area where the fishing did not. Somewhere in here. And let's give him a little bit of room. Put him in like so. So that one can go in as well. And these guys can stay ready to build. Um, I want that house, that tree taken down next. I'm sure they're working on it. And then we want to get a space for the dock trader right there. So now that we know where everything else can eventually build, we will set him... Probably the first available spot right there. And let me go ahead and set a second fishery just to remind me that there is a reason why this has to be right there. Okay, so with that set, though this one could pause. Not needed right now. With that set, this guy set, we can go ahead and get the land trading in and know where things are going to go. That's not it. Right there. The land trader, what I call the land trader, what do they call it? The officially the trading post but trading by land oops had to catch a doorbell sorry about that let's see if i can figure out what i was talking about a moment ago we were setting what i was calling the the land trader or the trading dock this guy has essentially a road going through him let's see that button there so it's you could ignore that and just use it as a building but i like to use it as a pathway so that being said, in other words, you can put fencing from, you know, across there to force them to, to foot traffic right through the middle of it and make a road out of it. That being said, you don't want that road to then run into another building or something. So that's why I wanted to set these guys first so I could see where they're going to go. Now, I could take him down a little bit if I wanted to and and kind of make this the two buildings on the left, on the right look like they're part of these buildings over here and kind of shape it that way. Though there is a bit of a fence around those buildings that's conflicting right now. Otherwise, is there a rhyme or reason where things go? If from this angle, it looks like you want to kind of move it around a little bit so it fits the slope a little better. From this angle, that makes it look crooked, but there will be eventually other buildings in and around here that will eliminate the sense of it being crooked. In other words, we'll, we'll congest it up pretty good by the time the series is over. Now, the dock over here, the, the trading dock, is going to have an access point right here. So, I'm thinking I want to leave this area available for road traffic coming in. So, we want to be a little further this direction for that reason. And that fits the slope better, but that's not as crucial. So I'm going to go over here, rotate it a little bit more, like so. And set it in right about there. Where is that guy again? That looks pretty good. You're going to be there. You're going to be paused. I just wanted to get you placed. Alright, so we, through all of that, have a windmill going. Let's get you hired. I don't know if I have any available unemployment is zero so let's kick out a 
builder for that one taking a rest so we can get this going there you are great so you are going to head over find some there you go you're gonna find some wheat yeah you're off to the farm that's where the wheat is stored we've got at least 250 in there at the moment I want to show you this process it's kind of fun they'll actually get out and rotate the windmill to match the wind at least what, what they believe is the wind we have no indication of where that is but he's going to get out get i guess he got it spinning and he's going to aim it the right direction that's cool <laughs> and then it's going to go through the process of grinding it into flour when that happens we will then load it into here anything new available yeah, raspberries. Somebody's growing raspberries. Make that available, though. It didn't land in here when I did that, so they're still growing. Where are the raspberries? We're right there. There's the raspberry patch. So when fall comes and the berries come in, they'll start selling them to us over here, and then we'll be able to move them into our markets over here. Now, I want that to get done. Is there anything else that has to be done this episode? we got our cart parking moved. We're going to eventually get this guy moved, but we're out of nails. So we... Mm, it almost wouldn't hurt to put a second smithy in just to give us a bit of a boost. I don't remember ever being able to buy nails in the trader. You can buy iron and iron ore, but I don't remember nails ever coming up. So you pretty much have to do that on your own. Though, now that they've got the charcoal, three guys should be able to put that out. I could also limit the metal parts and say, no, only make ma uh, nails. Let's see here. This guy, we could order a new cart, which means he's going to need to use his parts for that. He's only got five, so I'm going to need more parts. So now we want to continue making those. But there are three blacksmiths. We'll see what they can pull off. You have already made flour. Great. You are now going to take flour. Though that could go into the other granary over here. The, the big one that's going to go in. Where are you? I've got you turned off. Let's turn you on. We need to get you done. Um, otherwise, fishing would be nice to get done. Fish boats. I've got to have the fishery first, though. You can build this guy, and he'll just sit there and wait until there is a fishery to call for boats, just like there was a cart parking to call for a cart. So there's no point in building the boatyard first. You're the trading dock. You need to go in before we run out of iron, for you know, before we run out of nails to build it by running out of iron to make the nails. So that's kind of the the one deadline that's left on this map is. Make sure that you've got the ability to bring in iron. Otherwise, you let's go ahead and throw you into there. So we're going to add, let's do this manually. Grab flour. If I say, just give us all the production, it's going to throw wheat and everything else into here too. We'll just throw the one flour into there. And we can, we can get rid of that flour later if we want to and move it into the other granary. But flour is going to come into here, which means it's available to go into here. So you're now going to be selling flour and she is or she one of these two is going to race over there and grab flour out of the one mill where it's being stored right now yep 30 already called to leave all right so with that we've got plans for next episode get our trading going get our fishing industry going we need to set a lot more houses in to get more people working probably this side of the road a row of houses in here next time that makes sense and then we'll figure out what industry goes in here certain ones cannot like the 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 smoky charcoal pile does not work well with housing so we'll take a look at that and see if there's anything else that conflicts or if you already know if there's any other industry i would think the tannery is certainly something you wouldn't want to live next to so i'm sure there are certain industry jobs or buildings in here that you don't want to put next to housing so if you know what those are let me know appreciate it um otherwise i think i'm going to wrap this one up 
and again welcome to all of the new subscribers to the channel and thank you for all the wonderful comments last episode please do so again this time hit that uh, thumbs up button if you enjoyed the show and i'll catch you next time thanks a lot folks Bye bye